In this video, we are going to debunk the no white after Labor Day. I'm pretty sure it's been debunked for several years now. I think we all know it's okay to wear white after Labor Day. In fact, it's more than okay. It's fantastic. I think winter white looks so good. So we are gonna go over seven ways to wear white in the fall and look absolutely fabulous. So let's get started. And welcome, I'm so glad you're here. If you don't know me, I'm Carolyn, and we have girl time every Wednesday and Saturday. So don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell, so YouTube will remind you that we gotta hang out. We just do, I mean, we just have a lot of fun together. No judgment, all love. We just come here, we're older gals that get each other. So. Make sure you subscribe. If you have friends that would love this sort of thing, hit the little share button and let them know about it so they can come and join the party. Okay, now let's get down to wearing white in the fall. So number one, let's start with white on white on white on white. They are putting white on top of white on top of white, and not even shades of white, really white. So you have the white shirt, or the white blouse, or the white top, and then you put on the white sweater, maybe a layer with a white blazer, a white coat. I'm kind of digging the idea of a white coat. I think that would get awfully dirty, but I'm kind of thinking that would look really nice. And then just the white pants, everything is white. Nothing even breaking it up. And I think what makes it look so good and why it looks so good in the fall or even the winter is that you're using different textures. So you have the maybe a silky blouse and then maybe you're putting uh, a sweater over it. You're layering it with maybe a silky blazer or a more chunky knit coat. All the different fabrics, the different textures, that's what makes it so good. So I'm really digging the white on top of white. You don't have to break it up at all, just pile on the white. <laughs> So a classic look, a good any time of the year, is white with a pair of blue jeans. Great in the winter though, because you can just add in that white sweater, maybe a white leather jacket. So I tried to get one of those in the Nordstrom sale, but it was not available. It was gone immediately. I'm not super mad about it because it was expensive, but that would have looked so good with a pair of blue jeans. So white and a pair of blue jeans, it's a classic, it's an easy, it's a duh, but you know, just a little reminder, don't forget to add white with your blue jeans this fall. If it's a nice, thick, chunky white sweater, one of those cable knit, oh, nice. With a pair of blue jeans and a little pair of booties. I'm dying for fall, can you tell? <laughs> Here is my personal favorite, white with brown. What a classy look. I think this is the epitome of class. Add brown with white. You can add a brown belt and a brown pair of shoes, a brown pair of boots, a brown jacket, a brown sweater, just anything brown, even a little splash of brown with a lot of white. Any brown with white looks classy. It looks like you are ooh la la, classe. <laughs> and when I'm saying brown, I don't necessarily mean just like a chocolate brown. I mean every shade of brown, from tan all the way up to chocolate brown, it all looks super classy when it comes to pairing it with white. So in the summertime, when I'm putting color with white, I love it to be a bright, bright color. It's just summery and fresh. But in the fall, I still like putting color with white, but I like it to be more of those kind of, you know, 
fall colors, you know, the greens and the oranges and the, you know, more berry colors. So during the Nordstrom sale, I did score a couple of Rails button ups and this one button up, this berry color, it feels very fall and it looks great with white. This other one that I got is more with the pinky color, so it's not as fall looking, but pink is in this fall, so it's gonna look great and it looks really good with white. So I would definitely say yes, add color to your whites this fall. Gray is another fantastic color to go with white. It's almost a slight departure from the white. If you go like a really light gray, looks really nice. It's almost like you're doing white on white, but it's gray on white. <laughs> it's just a little different than white. I love this blazer slash hoodie. I got it a couple months ago or a few months ago from Blonde Noir. I could probably link it. Anything that I can link, I will. But because I do really pick classic, more expensive items for my wardrobe, I've had a lot of these things for years and years and years. But anything that is linkable, I will link it so you can check in the description box or maybe even the first comment, I'll pin things there. And it's kind of perfect for fall because it is lined, so it's gonna keep me warm on those chilly fall nights. But it's got some structure to it, it's got a little form to it, and it's got like some details that I really like. It's little leather, details on it so um, if it's available I'll link it because it might be something you might be interested in adding to your wardrobe it's really comfortable too black and white that is a classic staple winter spring summer or fall always looks good black and white is beautiful dressed up with a beautiful handbag and high heels but you can throw on a pair of sneakers, throw on a baseball cap, and boom, black and white is super casual. So there's so many ways to take the black and white. Like I said, it's great every season, but fall is just not an exception. You can pull it off and look fantastic. And one of the classiest ways to wear white Again, any time of the year, winter, spring, summer, fall, doesn't matter. When you take white and you add it with creams, very sophisticated. So it's just a little bit of a difference in the contrast in color, but it just looks so rich, so sophisticated, just so je ne sais quoi. <laughs> And then the last thing that I absolutely think looks so nice when you're doing white and anything really, but adding the scarf. I've got to get myself into scarves. I'm terrible at putting a scarf together, wrapping it and doing it, and then I fuss with it. So I need to, that, and maybe that's going to be my mantra for the fall. Get scarves, learn how to really wear them beautifully and then let it go. Once it's on there, just, just let it go and not be fussing with it. I'm always trying to make myself <laughs> a little better every day, trying. It's a journey, ladies, it's a journey. But I'm always trying to push myself and because of just the way I am, I fuss with things and I wanna just let it go. Put it on, know it looks great, and move on with my day. But putting all Carolyn's issues aside, let's talk about scarves. Yes, scarves, white scarves with a white outfit. Oh, looks so good. Or maybe something with some color in it, some browns, just adding that scarf. I think that is a really nice way to go. Wearing white in the fall, I think accessorizing is absolutely key. Getting that right belt, the right shoe, the right accessory to make the whole outfit pop and look fantastic. So how do you like to wear white in the fall? Put in the comments your hacks and your tricks to make white look absolutely fantastic. We all wanna learn from each other, so let's get the conversation going. How are we gonna look amazing this fall in our winter whites? 
Outside of that, that's all I've got for you today. I am so glad you are here with me today. Always fun to have our girl time. So until I see you again, talk to you later. Bye.